It's the question everyone asks after a mass shooting. How did this happen again? Unfortunately, we already know the answer. We don't have sufficient gun control laws, and we can thank the NRA for that. The National Rifle Association's mission is to defeat any legislation that might restrict gun ownership. That includes the assault weapons ban that has been proposed repeatedly since 2004. Prohibited under that ban would have been the rifles used in the San Bernardino, Newtown, and Aurora shootings. After many of these attacks, the NRA defended assault rifles, and specifically the AR-15, as necessary for civilian self-defense and for hunting. The only thing that stops a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. More recently, the NRA fought against a law that would have stopped anybody on the FBI's no-fly list from purchasing firearms. And now we know that the Orlando shooter was once on an FBI watch list and legally purchased the weapons he used in the attack. And he's not the first. More than 2,000 people on that list purchased weapons since 2004. So why didn't any of this legislation pass? Well, the NRA gave a lot of money to politicians who voted against it. Take Senator Mitch McConnell, for example. The NRA has spent over a million dollars supporting the senator, which is probably why he voted against the no-fly, no-gun legislation. Recently, McConnell said that the NRA needed to give its approval before Supreme Court nominee Merrick Garland could be appointed. I can't imagine that a Republican majority in the United States Senate would want to confirm in a lame duck session a nominee opposed by the National Rifle Association. But it goes far beyond him. The NRA is very effective in getting the right people into office. 90% of NRA-endorsed candidates win their elections. In the 2014 elections alone, the NRA shelled out $28 million, including in communities devastated by mass shootings. In Arizona, they bankrolled Representative Martha McSally's bid for Gabby Gifford's old seat. Giffords, you may remember, took a bullet to the head during a mass shooting in 2011. The NRA worked to ensure her successor opposed gun control. But the scary thing is the NRA doesn't just focus on political spending. Its grip on government is so tight that they've made sure the CDC can't research anything related to gun control, meaning our data on gun violence is practically non-existent. It also spends hundreds of millions of dollars through a tax-exempt foundation and has trained 28 million children with its gun safety program. It really is an all-encompassing campaign. So will we ever be able to pass gun control legislation as long as the NRA is against it? 